man, you a Jackie Chan fan? I love Jackie Chan. Yeah? Yeah. Like scale one to ten, how much you love? Like his old movies? Like a, it was like the old Rumble in the Bronx type movies. Yes, those yeah, ones. Okay, but how about right now? I haven't seen You know, it. like post The Foreigner, Jackie Chan. I haven't seen it. Is there any other movies he's done after The Foreigner? He's working on right, one right now and he's getting some heat for it. I'll tell Rush you Hour 4? My favorite. That sounds dope. Hasn't that been in pre-production for like years? Oh, really? I feel like the idea of it came, yeah, like they were going to make it for a long time, but what, I- Rush Hour? Yeah. Because oh, Chris Tucker don't want to do movies no more. Really? No, why? That's why he stopped doing it. Like, what is he going to do, NFTs? Rush Hour 3. Wow. Gotta give him like a stupid paycheck to do it. Who wouldn't have done it? What is he doing now? Just Silver Lightning's, Silver Lightning's playbook too. <laughs> oh, I'm in. I'm in. He just wants to retire? I don't know. He probably crazy. a pastor or something. I don't know. That'd be tired. So, like uh, Mace. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie Chan is currently producing a new movie, um, but he's getting a little bit of heat from it because... Is it the Tuxedo too? Just no. One of the scenes he had just filmed was actually in a Syrian town that had been flattened by an Assad bombing. Oh, so fury among activists. Dude, they need to just get mad no. at the location what? scout, not yeah. him. <laughs> People don't understand mad? departments. Who's gonna get mad at the location scout, yeah. though? You know what I mean? Wait, they're mad because <laughs> this is a recent bombing and they filmed there? Uh, enough. So basically, war scenes for a new Jackie Chan uh, film are being produced um, in a Syrian city that had been leveled by Assad bombing, according to the activists. The film is called Home Operation. Doesn't it look more realistic then? <laughs> Home it's like, Operation. You know. Uh, it's That's so expensive to get this whole scene in Hollywood. What we need to do is just go cheaper. Yeah. If it's already oh, this is a perfect set. That's it's amazing. It's Dude, it looks so, so the real. The scout is soaked when he's look at the this. war sheet. Like, oh, this is perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, I guess that's in bad taste. I know, yeah. right? It looks so real. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let me. I'll give you guys more details, and you can make an uh, assumption. Studios like to save money. But don't don't we already do that with like American war films? Don't like when you do the Civil War shit, they go to the real sites for like. Because if you don't do the real shit, then they get mad at you yeah, too. Then they get mad, yeah. Like, Why'd like, you shoot that in Vancouver? So, so <laughs> the film Home Operation, um, which explores the emergency evacuation of Chinese citizens from Yemen during the Whoa. outbreak of war in 2015, oh. was partly filmed near the ruined regime held city of Al Hajar al Aswad, uh, south of the Syrian capital Damascus. So Home Operation is a Chinese Emirati collaboration film, according to the country's ambassador to China. Uh, and activists are pretty much just outraged over the movie because they're labeling it like whitewashing of Assad war crimes and shameful behavior by the Syrian regime's allies, China and the UAE. Okay, well, you know what? People need to realize it's a two-party thing. If they're shooting there, somebody gave the okay in that territory, so you got them to be mad at. Yeah. Don't you, can't, you can't buy what's not being sold. Hey, dude, your logic? That's see? very true. But also, it probably looks really funny when they're screen testing and they're like, go in front of that rubble and say, I don't want no trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> Something works about this place. <laughs> I don't want no trouble. <laughs> we love it. We love like, it. Let's do it. Did you say <laughs> rubble or trouble? <laughs> like, that shot looks way no better than the one we shot in Culver City. For the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a better feel to it. Yeah, the Culver City one, mm, oh. I don't know. <laughs> Do you think they tried a couple of shots and like in front of green screen, they're just like, I'm just not feeling this. Let's go to Syria. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's a collab between China Chinese and Emirati, yeah. The, the, the AUE. The, or UAE, sorry. United Arab Emirates, uh -huh. right? Yeah. So they don't have access to Hollywood and they don't have movie sets. Well, in China they do, but it looks nothing like the Middle East. China movie sets are crazy though. Yeah, dude, China can... But they like to say in money. one day they'll make it that <laughs> I heard they have actual movie cities. They do. We, really? we filmed one in there. One of our videos... In, in, like, they don't crazy. even build sets. They just build the actual city and then they just leave it there. <laughs> Empty? After? There's, there's a whole town in China or, or a whole city that we flew to um, that literally is desi dedicated to all just like crazy epic movie sets. So you can see it. Um, I think uh, it was like a glitch mob... Um, take to whatever take me from here or whatever um it's a track that we did and we're in in front of these like I, they're like 300 foot tall like giant siddhartha buddha like multi-hand like goddesses oh. and stuff there's like huge fucking you know laying down buddha structures or like there's like roman like uh, temple wow. houses wow. that are just built like yeah. everything. and they're not they're all for movies only it's literally a movie production city there's even giant buildings that house only like war costumes wow. So that epic Chinese films that have like thousands of people can be filmed in these like large cities. The Lu Bu biopic. <laughs> Lu Bu biopic. And then you 
you pay for a, a, an admission to that space like it's a fucking Disneyland, you pay for an admission and then you can film whatever. So that's what we did, all of us, all of us, we just paid this really small fee because it costs a lot to get there and to get housed. Yeah, yeah. But once you're actually oh, there, because it's a really it's remote area, you're only paying like X amount. They have no fucking toilets and plumbing. I, oh. shit, I was shitting in the worst fucking toilet situation <laughs> I've ever in, been in my you're life. You're in like the Palmdale of China. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's so true. Right? Palmdale. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. That might be yeah. worth it to get some right? sick shots. Yeah. It is, dude. Yeah. I, I, used like... to, I used to praise houses in Palmdale. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. 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 I gotta go all the way to Palmdale, bro. Yeah, I'm not a hustler, dude. He does everything, this guy, dude. I just like the idea of you like being a new appraiser and just freestyling the price. <laughs> just walking in, I don't know, six hundred thousand. Like, like, how much 300? you paid for it, huh? Like this right here. I'll just show quick like snippets. Like that full on desert. This right here. Whoa! Buildings that people use as actual buildings. Well, is that a is that a building right there? <laughs> Whoa, that's Damn. crazy. These are all literally just it's a giant movie wow. set like amusement park wow. with all these different spots that just look crazy. That's so sick. And we just shot in front of all of them because it was like a fucking field day. That's yeah. fucking dope. Wow. This is a village in a town. Again, same thing. Nothing actually happens in it, but they're movie sets that have like wow. a tea house, a horse stable, a blacksmith wow. armory. A fucking like basket fucking weaving spot. Blacksmith oh, armory. It's not that hard. Look at this. Like why? That's sick. Then it, it makes it look like it just make it look like you just went to fucking Greece to it just looks, shoot yeah. that scene. Epic as fuck. Yeah. What the fuck? That looks tight though. This is definitely Dude. my favorite Shen Yun commercial you did. <laughs> this is our Shen Yun commercial. Show me your parts. I don't want to see the. I wanted to see you dance more. Honestly, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like the scenery's dope, but I want to see more Anthony. It's nothing but Mike's song, dude. There's no Anthony. <laughs> He's stealing the show, bro. I know. Oh, it's all Anthony. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. <laughs> he starts like no shit. <laughs> He's all, the crowd's turning, man. I gotta do it. <laughs> They're turning as me. Y'all want to see it? Yeah, I appreciate that. You know. They got, like, in China, they got this one town that's modeled after like a, a North Dakota like town. In so China? It, yeah. So it looks like old America. Why? It's fucking weird. North Dakota, is it 1880 town or some shit like that? No, it's just like it's like they just for some reason picked. This this specific town to like copy exactly wow. to do like American films yeah. so good with all Chinese people I love it. I love but then China. people actually like live there too wow <laughs> they're like it's a fake yeah. house it's fucking weird <laughs> cuz you know how they yeah. have like a fake Paris and like a fake uh yeah I heard yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they have it all a fake Statue of Liberty they have everything really like exact... which is why I'm like Jackie why did you film in fucking <laughs> China Syria why did you have to go to regular they have Syria? like an exact Eiffel Tower like like one to one, and it's oh, like, yeah. but it's in the weirdest spot, like super desolate. No one lives there. One to one scale, like same size. It's exactly the same. <laughs> That's fucking bananas. Yeah. Easy. They have like a regular Mount Rushmore, yeah, <laughs> but it's all like Bondo. It's like <laughs> they have the pyramids of Egypt in China, but nobody cares about. I bet that's on its way right now. They're building it right now. For sure. I wish they busted a, a Ocean's Eleven and build the actual White House and be like, hey, you want to know what I'm gonna do to you guys? And then fucking blow up the White House in front of them and send videos over. Dude, and then and then when they fucking FBI, <laughs> FBI looking at what happened and they see Bellagio written on the FBI White House floor. Oh my God. Hey. Bellagio. Oh. They put that tile they in. They stole the White House. It's just, they just do demos oh for threats. <laughs> Is the Chinese guys flipping around. <laughs> What fuck you been? That. <laughs> That's my favorite part of Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, his hand stuck in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Do they call him a greaser? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah not a greaser. They already have a freaking Chinese Elon Musk. Yeah, dude. You see oh, that guy? Yeah. Elon Wong? He looks like a, he looks like a deep fake. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. I thought it was a deep fake. I thought so like, too at first. He's just, no, he's really just an Asian yeah. Elon. That's tight. Wow. <laughs> that's true, because there's like a billion Chinese people. They're bound to look like there's one. Gonna have, there's gonna be a few. 1.6 billion or some shit. <laughs> Six dude. billion? 1.6 billion or something. I don't know. Hey, do you think Jackie thought he was gonna get any, in, like, do you think him filming at this place was controversial in his brain at all? No, he don't or, want no or, trouble. Or the production. <laughs> like, do you think in their mind they thought they would get any pushback for this? I'm sure that there was, like, maybe a yellow or orange flag that went up, but I bet you that in a judgment call, it was, like, superseded by, like, the pro of trying to tell a story of, like, surviving. Yeah, because that's an important story, too, I think. Yeah. You know what I mean? They probably had this, like, a larger national sense of pride to like get this type of story and exposure out versus like we're really trying to uh, be disrespectful to this like you know 500,000 yeah. massacred type of like location. I don't think Jackie Chan's going around going I don't want to be cancelled. <laughs> yeah cuz he's already getting shit from actual uh, like Hong Kong. Really? 
What are they going after? Because he's too damn pro-China now. Yeah. Well, it's because he was getting shit from China, and in that battle, he picked who would win in a fight. So yeah. he said, I'm going to go on that. Not because his son got I caught think. smoking weed. That's why. Yeah, his son got into some shit, and then... And then China, China was China like, I'm going to right? fuck you up. And if you don't fucking turn it around, and he's like, I... I don't want no trouble. 